Hello, my fellow freaks, weirdos, outcasts, my rebels. Welcome to this Aquarius new moon. <laughs> this is not like your other new moons, and I will explain very shortly what I mean by that. Also, before you go skipping to your sign, you do not want to miss the first part of this video because, honey, it is powerful and you will relate to it likely, okay? So stay tuned for a sec before you go skipping ahead to your sign. I am watching you. This is a big deal new moon. This is the new moon that starts 2023, boo. So you better have your ducks in a row. I'm just kidding. You don't need to have anything in a row. You just be your hot mess self and rebel against all odds. <laughs> Go wild, okay? Because that is the energy that we love over here. So if you are new to one of my videos, basically I talk shit. <laughs> I talk a lot of shit about astrology, spirituality, and all kinds of cool other things. So if that is your vibe, make sure to subscribe before you leave. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I'm not just saying that. I'm saying that because it helps me out. It lets me know that you liked this video and to keep doing videos like these. And if you could please comment down below, tell me how you are doing. What are you feeling for this new moon in Aquarius? What is coming up right now in your life? Does 2023 even feel like a new year yet because I know for me it doesn't quite yet and I know for a lot of people it doesn't like quite yet and that is because we've had a whole lot of shit in retrograde just fucking our energy all up we've been going backwards while the year is moving forwards and so we can still feel like we're stuck in like 2022 you know but that is all about to change with this new moon and that is why this is such a big deal I'm so excited to talk about it with you so sit down relax have a drink grab a crystal put it in your bra put it in your crotch I don't care do whatever you want with it and let's fucking talk about this aqua new moon. So as always, what the fuck is a new moon? A new moon is when the sun and the moon align in the sky in the same sign. They come together as harmonious luminaries in the sky and basically just merge, right? And because of this reason, the moon in the sky goes dark, which creates a void, right? Just like a baby in the womb or a seed in the soil, creation happens inside of the dark. And so for that reason, a new moon is basically a blank slate. It is a void where anything can grow, anything can be created, but it ripples for several weeks after that. You mostly notice these energies for the next few weeks. A new moon is a new beginning, basically. This particular new moon is happening in the weird eccentric sign of Aquarius that is ruled by cold, hard, distant Saturn. Now, Aquarius is a weird sign, okay? Aquarius brings a lot of weird things with it, right? Because it's an air sign and it's fixed air which makes it kind of weird and odd and it's like progressing what we did in Capricorn but and trying to keep the momentum going but progressing with a lot of ideas and a lot of thoughts and a lot of insights progressing socially as well and so Aquarius because it's an air sign is like a social sign but can also be somewhat antisocial. This new moon in Aquarius is a time where we are progressing. Now, normally new moons are kind of subtle. We don't feel them as much or as easily because it is the moon going dark. So it is something kind of being created underneath the surface. Not as like big, bold, and in your face like a full moon is, but nonetheless, it is still an energy that is important because of some of the other things that we have going on around the time of this new moon. And that is why this new moon is not like a typical new moon. No, no, boo, she is not. The first reason that this new moon is a big effing deal is because it is the first new moon of 2023. And like I said, up until this point in 2023, we've been kind of going on old energy. We've been still kind of going based off of 2022 energy, especially astrologically. But this new moon is like the first new beginning of 2023. But not only that, Mercury is finally fucking going direct, okay? So Mercury is finally moving the fuck forward. We are no longer going to be rethinking and pulling back and revisiting things and thinking so much about 2022 and thinking so much about our goals and thinking so much about where we want to progress and what, what foundations we want to lay down and what we want to achieve. Like that is going to start getting very, very clear 
this week, literally like a day or two before the new moon, Mercury is going to turn direct. So this, this kind of combined with the new moon is really bringing a lot of clarity to this new moon. So we have this forward moving energy of Mercury. Mars is now direct. It went direct last week and Mercury and Mars have been intertangled because Mars is in Gemini, Mercury's sign. So with both of them retrograde, it's been kind of like a shit show, you know, like we've been rethinking a lot, rethinking our lives, rethinking our existence, rethinking our goals, rethinking what the fuck we want to achieve in the world, rethinking our work, rethinking our careers, rethinking everything basically in our lives like why are we here what gives us meaning and purpose where are we going and how the fuck do we get there and are we even on the way there are we even on the path are we not on the path where is the fucking path right like all of that we have been really really reflecting on over these last several several weeks now and even several months now as mars has been retrograde since the end of october don't forget i have been talking about this in my last several videos so if you have not seen them, don't worry, I am catching you up right now. So this new moon is coming with clarity and revelations with Mercury finally going direct. We are finally going to be like, oh, I get it now. I know what I need to start doing moving forward. And from here on out, it's gonna start making more and more sense. And we're going to start feeling even more forward energy in 2023. And this, in my opinion, is when it's really gonna start feeling like, oh, okay, we are in some kind of new phase, right? And so this, I think for a lot of people could be really where your new year starts. You're no longer kind of feeling lost. You're no longer feeling as confused. You're no longer backtracking. You're no longer looking for answers or whatever. And you're finally like, oh, the answers are clear. Now, I can't promise you that you're going to like the answers or that the answers are going to be enjoyable. I have had some answers come to me, you know, with all of this that have not been exactly what I've wanted, but felt necessary. And that's kind of Capricorn anyway, like what's necessary? What what are your priorities? Like what's important? What's actually going to get you farther in the material 3D, re realistic, tangible world? But not only that, what can we implement to move forward, to keep going? The other reason that this new moon is such a big deal is because Venus, the planet of love, beauty, romance, money, and relationships is going to be coming into her conjunction with Big Daddy Saturn, the ruler of this new moon. So this new moon in Aquarius is going to have a Venusian and Saturnian flavor to it. It's coming with tough lessons in love, lessons in commitment, tough lessons in what we want moving forward and how we need to progress. What we desire and how to commit to those desires and progress on what it is that we want to build. So we're still kind of getting our minds around the foundation of our lives, the foundation of something in our lives, like what is the foundation? What's the goal? What's the achieve? Like, what do we need to achieve? What do we want to achieve? And where are we going? But also, then how can we progress on what we have that's already existing, right? Like, these are the big things that are going to start coming up around this new moon and over the next couple weeks. These are the things that we're really going to notice. Now, the other reason that this new moon is such a big fucking deal is that it is basically going to be conjunct Pluto. It's going to be just a couple degrees past Pluto and Capricorn. So even though the new moon's in Aquarius, Pluto's at the very end of Capricorn and the new moon's at the very beginning of Aquarius. So even though they're in different signs, they're technically conjunct or coming out of a conjunction by degree and not by sign. What does that mean? A lot of deep, dark <laughs> shit is also coming with this new moon. It is showing us something from the depths. It's like opening the vault, opening Pandora's box. It's like going to be really revealing, a very revealing new moon. And I personally think if I could sum this new moon up, this is something that really kind of came to me the other day, like a download, you could say. Basically, this is the new year energy. This is really getting serious about what you want and what you desire and what you're willing to commit to and really flipping the script. Basically, I think this is a massive script flip. This is like, whoa, right? Like we may surprise ourselves or something may happen where we're like, you know what? No more. Like this is a kind of like a serious new moon with <laughs> with hints of depth, you know, like hints of intensity. But this is making extreme changes. This is making profound change, necessary change to progress ourselves farther. This new moon can also have somewhat of an eerie or ominous vibe around it. And it's also bringing in deep and extreme, clear cutting insight on what needs to change in our lives moving forward.
So this is kind of the no bullshit answers we've been looking for, right? This is the no bullshit answers that's like, okay, if you want this, this needs to change. If you want to start moving forward, you got to stop living in the past, right? You got to let go of these old versions of you. You got to let go of this toxic, chaotic shit. You got to let go of what's not working. You got to actually like get your hands dirty and do the fucking work. Right. And this is something I talk about a lot in my programs and lives and classes and stuff. If you've ever had one with me, but so many people think that they need to wait around that manifestation and, you know, bringing things, creating things in their lives involves like, oh, I just desire it or write it down on a piece of paper and it's going to come to me. And that can fucking happen sometimes. Okay. Like the universe is fucking miraculous. Like I believe that the possibilities are endless. Okay. But this energy is like, this is not one of those times. This is like deep shit. This is shit that we've needed to clean up for a fucking while. Okay. It's like, okay, how are you going to step in to the new version of you with all of your old shit? right? How are you going to step into the goals and the dreams that you have, the things you want to accomplish, the desires you want to accomplish, the relationships that you desire, whatever it is that you want, you know, more money, a better paying job, whatever it is, but you're still operating from the consciousness of the old you, right? Say you want to be rich, but you're still operating from poor you's consciousness, from poor you's identity, right? Say you want like the best freaking relationship and love interest of your life, but you're still operating from like, I'm not good enough, right? This is doing the external and internal work, right? This is getting very deep and, and making profound change. Like this looks like a line in the sand. This looks like a massive extreme decision for a lot of people. Like this could be kind of like, it, it could almost feel like that New Year's Eve energy that we expect to feel like on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day of like this line in the sand, like this year's over, this year's starting, new me, activated, right? But this is like making profound change. And if you set intentions on this new moon, this change could fucking last, okay? Because we have big daddy Saturn involved and big dog Pluto involved, okay? Like we got the two gangsta planets involved here, right? That really deal with time and long lasting change, right? So this is a time where we're like getting no bullshit about what needs to change in our lives, what we want to commit to, our commitments, our responsibilities, how we interact within our relationships with other people, within our social dynamics, within our friend groups, uh, with work, with our careers, right? It's like, are we staying consistent? Are we staying consistent? Do we have high enough standards for ourselves? Do we need to set our standards higher here? This is kind of a no bullshit, like, let's fucking do this and let's go all the way kind of energy. Like if we are going to dig our heels into the dirt right here, if we're going to plant our seeds into the dirt right here, like then let's fucking do that, right? Like if you want to own a business, better start fucking acting like a business owner. If you want to fucking you know, progress your life. If you want to get that new position, start being the person that has that position, right? Like this is about operating from a whole new state, right? State of being. And this is something, you know, I teach in like a lot of my programs and, you know, do with like clients and stuff. But like, this is the time where we are really like planting our fucking seeds and being no bullshit about it. So the, like over the next couple of weeks, this is like, what do you want to commit to? What are you committed to now that you're wasting your energy on that is not getting you where you want to go? Like Venus and Saturn is like really making a big commitment towards something that you want and possibly ending old commitments towards something that you don't want anymore. Something that is not for you anymore. Something that you don't like anymore. This is making massive, massive, of change as well with Pluto involved, like revolutionary shifts, extreme changes that hit us on a very deep level. This can definitely be a, a very transformational experience for a lot of people. And that's why I'm saying this looks like the new year, new moon to me. This is kind of like, okay, like I'm shutting my skin. I'm done with these old toxic habits. I'm done being distracted from my goals. Like I'm going to start putting more structure in my life with Mercury and Capricorn. Like I'm going to start structuring my life more. I'm going to start 
like you know going on that diet take going to that run like going to the gym like actively expanding my skill set to get that new position at work like whatever it is like this is the fucking time to really really fucking get serious about it like no bullshit like this is how you really progress on whatever it is you have now that you want to make better and committing to it but some people could find that their relationships, their friendships suffer. Like this could be distancing ourselves from certain people, certain groups of people, certain environments. This could be, you know, cutting off certain people in our life, getting really serious about what we want. And also like certain relationships in our life, you know, like this could definitely be a time where we see certain relationships kind of coming to an end or like fizzling out with Venus Saturn. Like we're making new relationship decisions and choices and commitments here. Because the Venus conjunct Saturn starting a whole new kind of cycle with Venus and Saturn. And, you know, we haven't had this for like a year, right? So this is the time where we're getting very serious about our relationships, about our money, about our friendships, about what we want. We don't have time for the bullshit anymore. And we're only looking at progressing right now. Like we're only looking at our goals, our foundation, what we, what's a priority, what's a necessity, what we need, what is going to keep us, you know, established and how to progress on top of that. This new moon is really, really coming in with a certain level of power, right? That's like, are you willing to take that next step? Are you willing to fucking commit? Are you willing to lay down the law in your own life, right? Are you willing to stick to your own words? Are you willing to do the damn thing? Do you want this or not, right? And if you're still kind of confused about what you want, this new moon will probably bring you clarity, right? And again, something that you want may involve doing something that you don't want, right? Like it may be like, okay, well, um, like I said, if you want to get this next position, you may have to operate at a different level of being, which means, you know, you may have to start changing some things in your life. You may have to start changing some habits, some ways of thinking, doing some mindset work, maybe changing the people you're hanging out with. Like, what does this new you, like, what are the standards of this new you, right? would this new you be doing all the shit that you're doing now? And if not, then, you know, if you're doing anything in your life that does not feel right, that does not feel like it's progressing you, that's not adding to your life, that is just distracting you, that is sucking your energy, that is sucking you dry, like this is the time to get really hard and to put your foot down and to make that decision, right? Like all it takes is a fucking decision. A decision is so fucking powerful, but we put off making that decision because we know once it's made, right? Once once it's made, we're pretty fucking clear. But it's because that decision is powerful. And so this new moon looks like a really powerful decision, a deciding factor for many people that is going to push us forward and progress us towards wherever it is that we're desiring to go, right? But it may also mean buckling down and getting really serious in other areas of our lives. It may mean looking at relationship choices, commitments, friendships, jobs, you know, people in our lives. Uh, it could also mean looking at our habits, looking at things, our routines, things that we're doing that don't make sense with where we're wanting to go, right? So let me know down below if you watched the whole first part of this. I feel like that was so powerful and hopefully will resonate with many. Let me know if you are one of them. Let me know if that resonated with you. I would love to hear your feedback. As always, make sure to comment badass down below if you did watch all the way through. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and we are about to get into what this means for your rising sign. I love you. Let's get into it. Alrighty, big daddy Aquarians. <laughs> this is your new moon horoscope, okay? From your astrology bestie. Let's get into it. So I figured we'd start with you since this is your new moon. You know what I always say, new moon, new you, boo. <laughs> but this is like a really serious, intense, like potentially like life altering new moon, I would even venture out to say because it's coming with some very serious, intense new beginnings. And so if you have been feeling stuck, if you have been feeling lost, if you have been feeling like you are resorting back to old patterns or old behaviors, etc. This is the time. This is the time. This is the time where it is time for a new you to be created, to be reborn. You know, I just heard the other day something really, really good and interesting that I absolutely loved. And it went something along the lines of stop 
trying to find yourself and start creating yourself. And I feel like that is a beautiful like analogy for this particular new moon for you happening in your first house at the very, very beginning degree. So if you have your rising sign or any Aquarian placements in like the first five degrees of Aquarius, you're going to be feeling this new moon like very intensely, okay? Pluto is kind of lingering nearby and Venus and Saturn are conjunct in your sign. So this is really revealing to you how you have been going behind the scenes against yourself, self-undoing, self-sabotaging, you know, maybe feeling lost or maybe feeling more secluded, maybe pulling back, but how, you know, you may have certain habits, certain toxic patterns, certain toxic cycles that can get in your way, certain karmic cycles that can get in your way. So this has been really about restructuring and, you know, restructuring and reforming your behind the scenes life, maybe your subconscious life, maybe getting back into healing, getting back into some kind of spiritual work, doing something behind the scenes, looking at your mental health, figuring out what needs to be let go of, ended, or cleaned out in your life. Okay, and so this new moon is bringing in massive, massive new change here where it's like, okay, you've been doing the cleaning out, you've been doing the dumping, the purging, the endings. Now it is time to commit to something new. It's time to make a big commitment. It's time to make a commitment to yourself. It's time to take care of yourself. It's time to commit to this new beginning, to what you really want and desire in your life. Like this Venus Saturn conjunction in your sign is like, what do I really want and desire in my life? And am I really going for it? Like, can you say with full integrity and full honesty and full truth, right, that you have really been committed to what you want, that you've been focused on you, that you've been committed to what you want, not what anyone else wants, but what you want, right? Not the world wants, not what other people want, not what other people think of you, you know, not doing something so other people like you or because of what other people will think about it, but like, what do you want? And this new beginning, this new moon is like a new beginning over these next few weeks that's going to have you really, really getting serious about this. And you're really going to have a lot of clarity in terms of where you've been going against yourself, like subconsciously or behind the scenes, where you have maybe old behaviors that are pulling you back or past shit that needs to be purged or let go of. Like you've already been doing a lot of that, but because Mercury is going direct in your 12th house, you're getting very clear on what in your life that's been going on behind the scenes, that's been lurking behind the scenes is no longer aligned right? Like, does it need to be there? Like, maybe there's somebody in your life that they, like, think, like, you, they act like they have your best interest, but do they really, you know? Maybe you've been, again, doing a lot of soul searching, doing a lot of digging on, like, you know, yourself and kind of secluding yourself, but now it's kind of like, okay, like, this new you is ready to be born, but are you ready to truly, truly fucking commit to it? Are you ready to make the deep and profound changes and commitments and learn the fucking lessons that are needed for you to really thrive and go after what you truly, truly want, what you actually want, right? And so that is what this new moon is about for you as an Aquarius rising. And, you know, I think that you've also been really reflecting on your passions with Mars being retrograde in your fifth house on what you love, your interests, your hobbies, and maybe children, dating, love, romance as well. But like, this is like, what does, what do you want? What do you, my Aquarian risings, want with your life, right? And how do you want to appear? How do you want to show up? Who are you being in the world? And this is like a time to get really serious about that. It's like, I love it for you. It's like you are stepping into your like bad bitch, take no shit, boss up, grow up, fucking mature, hot fucking energy. Okay. Like, <laughs> like I used to like hear mature and be like, Ugh, you know, discipline, Ugh, but like, no, right now it's such a vibe. It's like, get your shit together and grow the fuck up basically. Right. Like, and yeah, you can still be somewhat of a mess. Like, I'm not saying that you can't be your rebellious, different, innovative, eccentric self. Like, we love that. We love you, you know, but do something that you want to do for you. And that may mean growing up in some places. That may mean, you know, learning some lessons, like stop taking shit. That may mean making some hard decisions, you know, really cleaning some shit up. So let me know if this resonates for you as an Aquarius rising down below. I would love to hear your feedback, Aquarius, because I really don't hear from my Aquarian risings too much. So 
I would appreciate it if you could let me know if this hit the spot for you. And even if it's not all the way right now, new moons are subtle, so they can take a couple weeks to build, okay? So anyways, if you want more from me and you want like a community of like people, supportive people that are all on the same wavelength, sign up to my Patreon. And then also, if you would like something personal with me, personal readings, if you would like courses I've done on different topics, various different topics, see the description below, go to my website, you can book a reading, and I love you, happy new moon and new you, Aquarius, and we're gonna move on. Hello, my lovely mystical, ethereal, Pisces risings, welcome to your new moon and Aquarius horoscope. So, if you're a Pisces rising, darling, this new moon is happening in your 12th house, and this can be a time of bringing things to light that are very hidden, that are even possibly a little bit self-sabotaging, okay? So this can be a new beginning that's really starting to show you over these next few weeks where you need to pull back, where you need to take a break, where you need to rest, where you need to be more secluded or connect with those with the same kind of differences as you, find healing, you know, with different people, different groups, maybe join different spaces for healing or, you know, for some kind of issue that you are trying to rid yourself of. Like, this is a very spiritual but also very turbulent you know, house for you. And you could be making some big commitments or learning some big lessons in these areas of where you maybe self-sabotage or where certain things need to end, where you need to cut certain things off and out in your life, where you need to let go of certain bad habits that are kind of self-destructive or kind of destroying you behind the scenes or certain relationships that are kind of getting the better of you, like behind the scenes, certain friendships, right? Because, you know, we've had a lot of Capricorn energy in your 11th house of friends and people and acquaintances and your social circles and your social life and your aspirations. So you've been really reflecting on these things. You've been really having to, like, mature and do some cleaning up in this area and really figuring out, like, who's real and who's not and networking and, you know, meeting new connections and really getting out there and, you know, getting involved with different like-minded people in your life that can maybe help you achieve what you want to achieve and so you've been really reflecting on your goals and now you're really also going to be re reflecting on where you maybe self-sabotage yourself like where you maybe somehow do things that indirectly go against those goals or those things that you want and so this could be a very kind of serious time where like certain karmic lessons old patterns old habits old cycles are like really wrapping up and you're like making a very you know deep but powerful and serious decision that you're like done with something that you're like over something that you, it's like time to end something it's time to pull back it's time to like you know just fucking get away from things that aren't for you or aren't actually helping you anymore and so you know like this has been a time where you've been really, really focused on what you want in the world and who you connect with and who connects with you and if people, you know, appreciate you or see what you're doing or if they are, you know, <clears throat> connecting with you in the way that you want to, you know, certain social situations in your life, certain audiences, certain, you know, groups of people, etc., certain goals that you have. It's like you've been really, really possibly feeling very confused here and you know this could also have somehow tied in with your home and family and your personal life and your foundation like you know is this really what I want or is this going to affect this somehow and so this new moon is like you're finally getting clarity in a lot of these areas and you're finally also seeing how you've maybe been going against yourself or how you've maybe been your own worst enemy in some ways you know like maybe this is a new beginning that's like, hey, like, if you want this, then there's some healing that needs to be done first. There's some work on yourself that needs to be done first. Like, maybe you need to pull back for a minute. Maybe you need to focus on you for a minute. Maybe you need to rest, you know? So, that is what I'm seeing for you, Pisces, for this new moon in Aquarius. Definitely let me know down below. 
if this resonated with you at all or if anything in here was what you needed to hear i would love to hear your feedback if you're a pisces rising so please do that down below if you would like more from me and to join a community and get more exclusive stuff from me get more access to me get me live every week then join my patreon down below i also do my astrology course over there for the top membership and you can sign up for that and then as well <laughs> if you would like reading a personal reading, personal session with me, or any of the courses I offer or anything like that, the link is down in the description below. I love you, Pisces, and we are going to move on to the next sign. Alrighty, Aries, this new moon for you is happening in your 11th house, which can deal with a lot of different things, but mainly it is your place in the world, your place in society, your place with other people. So this could be a lot about friend groups, your social life, the different like-minded people that are around you, the different people are around you that you share a certain level of interest or hobbies or ideas with, ideologies with. So this can be like an audience, this can be marketing, this can be certain social groups that you belong to. So this could be a new moon where you're kind of starting something new here. It's like, who do you want to be in the world? Where's your place in the world? What kind of people and environments do you want to surround yourself with? But at the same time, this can also be about your ambitions and your aspirations, your hopes, your dreams, where you feel like you are receiving, you know, uh, from what you're putting out in the universe. And so this is a new beginning here where you are maybe making some big commitments or some big connections, some really important connections, especially with this Venus Saturn conjunction happening here. And this new moon being so close to Pluto in your 10th house. So this could be a very powerful deciding factor or change that is happening here or a very powerful commitment that you are making in terms of where you want to go or how you want to promote yourself in the world or the connections that you want to have or the audience that you want to have or networking, marketing and things like this you know, the, the different connections that you make that can help you achieve something or help you get somewhere in the world or help you get wherever you're trying to go. And so this is a time where you've been doing a lot of reflecting and restructuring and maybe feeling a little confused or lost in terms of your career and your long-term goals, your, your the direction you're going in in life. And so this is a time with this new moon where that can really start becoming clear. You can start getting a lot more clear around your career, where you're going, and the kind of people you need to be connecting with, and kind of people you want to be around, and the connections you need to make, or etc. right? And so this is a time where that's going to start becoming more clear, and there's going to be a lot of forward momentum after this new moon, because all the planets will finally be direct after this week. And so there will be a lot of forward momentum, and I'm sure you're already feeling some of that with your ruling planet Mars finally being direct after it's been retrograde for the last few months in your third house of your ideas and communication, you know, your day-to-day -day things that you do in your environments and stuff. And so there's just probably been a lot of confusion. Like, you know, do you really have what it takes to share the things that you want to share, to communicate how you want to communicate, to go after the things that you want to go after? Are you in the right location? in the right place to do the things that you want to do with your career and also how do you connect with the right people now with this new moon in Aquarius you know how can you get around the right people or are there certain people that you're around that you need to make commitments with or that you need to get away from you know like so this is making pretty big monumental change in terms of the direction you're going in the people that you want to surround yourself with the aspirations you have the goals that you have your place in the world your place in society and your career and so that is what I'm seeing for you Aries for this new moon let me know down below if this horoscope rang true for you if it resonated if there was anything in here that you needed to hear or what you do know notice coming up around this new moon i'd love to hear your feedback down below and then also if you would like more from me my website is linked down below if you would like to per book personal sessions i also have a patreon where i do a live weekly and talk about the energy of the week ahead and i do other exclusive content over there as well and we're like a community over there so if you would like more then definitely see that down below 
and we are gonna move on to the next sign. Alrighty, Taurus rising. This is a big new moon for you, darlings. This new moon is happening in your 10th house of your career, your life direction, your future goals, your life goals, you know, like your big picture for your life and your reputation, your brand, like where you're going in your life. And so this new moon is really carving out a really big new beginning in here for you and your life and what you want out of life. But not only that, like, it's it's also activating a certain intense and powerful transformation with pluto nearby in terms of what you believe you can have in your life right like your beliefs and what you need to learn in your education and you know things that you believe about that things that you believe about the world and what you can achieve and accomplish and stuff in the world right and so this new moon is coming in to set the stage for this new beginning that's going to start really unfolding over the next couple weeks very quickly it's going to be a very like it's going to go very it's going to go by very very quickly over these next several weeks because all planets are going to be direct and so after this new moon and so with venus and saturn in your 10th house this could also be you making a big commitment signing a big contract making a big decision Okay, like a line in the sand decision of what you want for your life, where you want to go, what your path is, what your goals are, what your like what your career goals are, what you want for your career, you know, and getting very serious about it. Right. It's kind of like a transit that's like, you know, either do this or don't. Right. Like it's kind of like that, like Venus in your 10th is like, what do you desire in terms of your career? What do you desire in terms of the relationships and connections that you want to make in terms of your career? How do you want things to look? How do you want your brand to look? How do you want your reputation to look? But also getting very serious about that. You know, it's like learning the lessons you've learned with that and actually implementing them and like getting very serious about it. Like no more bullshit. Right. Like. And so this is a time where you are making big, phenomenal changes in your career, like setting the stage for really big new beginnings in your career and in your life and in your life direction and in your long-term goals, right? Like, what do you want for your future? This is a time where you're going to be very focused on your future and progressing in your life okay with this aquarius new moon and it's bringing a lot of clarity around the education you might need to do that or you know certain beliefs that you've had that may be hindering you or holding you back or certain trips or travels or places that you may need to go to learn more or to do certain things right and so mercury retrograding in your ninth has been you really kind of rethinking these things your meaning your purpose your faith you know and so with mercury finally going direct right before we have this new moon it's like that clarity starts to form you start to finally get some of those answers so you can really start setting the stage for this new beginning and making the big changes that you want to make moving forward in your life so let me know down below taurus if that resonated with you i love to hear your feedback and we are going to move on well wait, hold, hold the phone for a second. <laughs> um, if you would like more from me, I do personal sessions. You can book one down below. And also uh, I have a lot more on my Patreon. So if you'd like to go over there, join the Patreon fam and get more, learn astrology or just get weekly lives where I talk about the energy for the week ahead, you can do that. And yeah, so we are going to move on to the next one. Gemini darlings, this new moon for you is happening in your ninth house of your high belief systems, your higher education, learning pursuits, mentors, teachers, teaching, traveling, anything that really gets you outside of your normal day-to-day -day comfort zone is what this transit is about, what this new moon is about in this house of yours. And so what I really feel like is going to be coming up for this new moon, other than some of those themes, is that you are going to be realizing a lot, you know, like Mercury has been retrograding in your eighth house of transformative experiences, also other people's finances and financial situations related to other people, organizations or institutions. And so you've been doing a lot of really strong reflection on your financial situations and restructuring possibly of these financial situations and so this new moon is bringing a lot of clarity in this area of life 
if you've been reflecting here. And it's possibly gonna bring a lot of epiphanies and aha moments so you can finally start moving forward in this area and maybe stop feeling so confused or lost or like, I don't know what the fuck is going on lately with my financial situations or all these different things that keep coming up that are related to my finances. It's like that's going to start finally moving forward and making more sense with this new moon coming in. But it's also shedding a light on this new beginning happening in terms of what you want to learn more about in your life and where you want to go. And so you could be making pretty big changes here, you know, over the next week or two related to your higher purpose, your faith, your belief systems, like what feels meaningful to you in life? What gets you out of your comfort zone? You know, what you want to learn more of? Do you want to go back to school? Do you want to change your major? Do you want to, you know, get a mentor? Do you want to start teaching? Like what belief systems are like need to be changed here for you to really walk into your future to walk into that next level version of you you know and then on top of that venus is going to be meeting saturn so in your ninth house so this is like a time where you could be really committing to like a new ideology a new a uh, theory, a new belief system, a new philosophy, you know, for some of you, even like a new religion, you know, like this could be something where it's like, okay, I need to buckle down and get serious about this subject, about learning this new thing, about traveling, about doing something that I believe very strongly in. We're about getting out of my comfort zone, going back to school, raising my education in some way, like all of these things are really coming to the surface. And so this is that 2023 energy that's like really starting for you. That's like, hey, what do you want to do? Wake up. What are you doing with your life? Okay. What do you want to do with your life? Okay. Are you doing that? You know, and if the answer is no, then how do you get there? Do you need to learn something new? You know, it's like things are going to start making sense. Things are going to start landing and you're going to start seeing this this change in yourself and in the direction that you want to go in. You know, Mars has been retrograding in your sign. And now that it's direct, it's like you're finally able to start moving forward. And after this new moon, it's going to be fast. Like the forward momentum is going to start really clicking and you're going to start making big decisions, possibly life altering decisions about where you want to go, your direction, you know, and the decisions you start making now and over the next couple months are going to be decisions that literally like affect the year ahead for you affect the whole of 2023 for you where you're like what's my purpose what do i believe in what's my faith like do i have faith in this direction that i'm going in currently and if not what do i need to do to change it you know and the eighth house transits you've been going through have been really having you question things like am i on the right path where new things have come in that have changed you know and it's like this is not the direction I want to go in anymore. Like maybe this is, you know, for some of you. And so you're really dealing with a lot of that right now. So with this new moon, you're kind of having this new beginning and new insights and new clarity, newfound clarity into what you really believe, what you really want out of life, what's really meaningful to you, where you want to explore more, where you are getting into maybe new ideologies, new concepts, new belief systems, new educational pursuits and how that's gonna move you forward in your life. And so let me know down below, Gemini, if this resonated with you. I would love, love, love to hear your feedback if it did. And even if it didn't, like I'd love to hear your feedback. What are you noticing? You know, new moons are usually subtle, but this one's kind of powerful. You could definitely notice big commitments, big contracts, big decisive, <laughs> very decisive actions being taken at this time or very big, um, like big trends, like big, trends in decisions that you're making like forward decisions that you're making for your future and what you want out of life so let me know down below i'd love to hear all the tea as always and if you would like a personal session with me you can uh, book that down below with my link to my website i don't do them anywhere else so if anyone else offers you it anywhere else it's a scam it's not me and then also if you would like to get more from me, exclusive content, etc. if you would like to join my membership and join a community of us, then definitely sign up for my Patreon. I also teach astrology over there if you're interested. But yeah, with all that being said, we are going to move on to the next sign. Alrighty, Cancer Risings. This new moon for you is bringing in major new beginnings in terms of partnerships and also alliances and finances or any kind of financial situations or any kind of resources that you share or have with other people, organizations, institutions, banks, etc. So this is a time 
where you are making some pretty big changes in terms of the relationships you have, the alliances you have, the contracts you have, the agreements you have, the commitments you have with other people, and the obligations you have with those people, whether that be financial or whether that be via resources, et cetera, like if you share anything with them, if they share anything with you, et cetera. So this is definitely a time where you are getting very, very serious and where there's like a new beginning happening here that could be very transformational, where you get a lot of really deep and personal insights into your relationships, into other people in your life and into the kind of commitments and agreements that you wanna have in your life with other people. Okay, so this could be your partner's money, your partner's finances, and something about that is coming up and you have to make you know, a serious decision. Like, what's mine? What's yours? What's your shit? What's my shit? You know, what's your karma and your energy and what's mine? What's your money and your resources and what's mine? You know, so these are some of the questions and situations that can come up this time. But either way, you know, Mercury is going direct in your seventh house. So this has been a massive reflection period that's been showing you a lot in terms of your relationships and the connections in your life that you make with other people and how you feel about them. You know, like, are they what you really want? Are they mature? Are they, you know, like what's going on? And if not, you know, this Mercury retrograde could have really shown you some things. And now that Mercury is going direct, right around this new moon, it's like you're finally getting very clear on some of these lessons you've been learning in terms of your relationships and connections. It's not just romantic or marriage relationships. It's also just close relationships that you have in your life, you know, like, are they aligned? Is it working? You know, what in your relationship life needs to be restructured? Are you still into the same kind of people or is that changing, you know? And so, with that being said as well, this could be a time where you're making big decisions regarding the people in your life, the relationships, who you want around you, who you want to be involved with, you know, and how much of their shit do you want to take on or how much do you want them to take on your shit, you know, basically is what it really comes down to. So this new moon is a really big new beginning in that, you know, it's kind of like, okay, like, what do I need to do in terms of my financial situation? Where do I want to go? How do I want to progress with my financial situation? And can I do that with these lingering things, these lingering people, these lingering relationships? So over the next couple weeks, you may definitely notice that you're making big decisions or big commitments or breaking off big commitments in terms of other people and finances and resources, etc. And with Venus conjunct Saturn in your eighth house and Saturn ruling your seventh and your eighth, you know, this is definitely a time where you're getting very, very serious about the relational dynamics in your life and also who you share money and resources with and also just money and resources in general, right? And then also family as well, you know, because Venus rules your fourth house as well. So this could be big agreements, big decisions, big commitments, a lot of responsibility maybe coming in through family and resources and money, financial situations somehow. Um, and then also Venus rules your 11th house of acquaintances and other people and you know, social, your social life and networking and promoting and marketing and things like that. So that could be somehow coming in to this as well. So these could be also business decisions, you know, partnership decisions um, and, you know, themes coming up. So, yeah, but these are real. This is a real big, serious kind of change, like line in the sand for you where it's like, OK, time to start getting serious, like time to start cutting people off, time to stop doing this, time to start doing that, like whatever it is. Right. Like, so you get it. But let me know cancer down below what you do see happening. I want to hear the tea. I want to know what's going on in your life. I want to know how this is resonating or just what you are seeing come up in your life if it's not all the way resonating right now. So and again, this is going to kind of ripple over these next few weeks. So it may not be something like wham, bam, right on the new moon, but it may be something that starts a little bit and then kind of starts building over the next few weeks. So let me know down below. I'd love to know. Uh, and also, if you would like to book a personal session with me to get more on what's going on in your life, what's going on in your chart, what's going on for the year, etc., see it my description down below. Go to my website and you can book there. And then also, if you would like to join my Patreon fam, my membership, and join a community people, I go live every week, talk about astrology, talk about all kinds of different stuff. And then I also teach astrology over on my Patreon. So see that link down below. And 
With that being said, I love you, Cancer, and we're going to move on to the next side. All righty, my fellow Leo Risings, welcome. So this Aquarius new moon for us. Okay, so first off, let me just say for a second, Aquarius season, which starts Friday, this coming Friday, which is the 20th, can be a little bit weird for Leo Risings, okay? Because, and really Leo Suns too, because this is the season that is opposite to us. Aquarius is our opposite sign, okay? So Leo is basically us. If we are Leo Rising, if we're Leo Sun, right? So when we get into Aquarius season, the sun is basically in its detriment. It does not like to be in Aquarius. It is farthest away from home because Aquarius is our opposite sign. So it's as farthest as it can get from us, right? <laughs> Basically. And so because of that reason, I have found, you know, a lot of times with myself, with clients, with just doing astrology for years now, that Aquarius season can feel a little bit disorienti disorienting and self, like selfless, right? And what I mean, and mainly for us, like not necessarily for everybody else, although maybe some people, but mainly for Leo Risings, mainly for uh, Leo Suns, because this is our opposite sign. Like we're not used to this energy, right? And it's different than we are. It's the opposite of we are. And so this can be a time where it's like, I am not comfortable with this, right? Like I'm not comfortable here. This is not my season. This is not my vibe. This is not the characteristics I'm used to or the, you know, et cetera. So it can begin to feel a little bit like cold and detached and just not completely like us. And so this is a time where we can definitely start feeling that we can start feeling a little bit lost or like not like lost, lost, but lost socially mainly is where it really, where I've really noticed it comes up where it's kind of like, you know, we're just kind of, you know, it kind of brings up all these questions of fitting in and versus standing out and being different versus being normal. And, you know, like, are you being your authentic wild self or are you just kind of blah, you know, because it's, you're trying to be normal, simple and fit in, etc. And so these kinds of things can kind of come up and we can also feel like there's not as much attention on us, like the sun's not shining as much because it's not, you know, and so these are some things that you want to kind of, you know, just be weary of. If you do start feeling that, just know it's Aquarius season and it'll be fine. Like it'll, when we get to the Leo full moon, it will feel a lot better. It'll pick back up. But for a couple weeks, it could just feel a little bit like, you know, we are like the sun is at its lowest point, you know, and so, and the sun rules us. And so <laughs> we're going to feel it a little bit, you know, like, so I'm just letting you know, but this new moon in Aquarius is in our seventh house of other people. And that's another thing, you know, it's like the focus is going to be on other people, more relationships, more connections, more friendships, more, you know, our social lives, more social media, whatever. Right. And we're not going to feel as seen or in the spotlight possibly. Right. And so that could happen, especially if you have a lot of people in your life, if you have a like, you know, relationship, if you're in a close committed relationship, these kinds of things can start happening or you could start noticing that there is some detachment or distance, you know, in terms of your social life with this, you know, Aquarian energy. Now, with the new moon, though, it is in our seventh house. So it is kind of a new beginning starting here in terms of relationships. And it could be a very powerful and transformational and deep and intense new beginning because Pluto is very much nearby. And our sixth and seventh houses are very connected. And Pluto is in our sixth house. And this new moon is in our seventh house. And so we're really kind of setting a line in the sand, you know, like what do we want to do in terms of work, right? That's been the main question with Mercury retrograde or what needs to change about how we're going about our work, right? Like what needs to be structured in terms of our work life, our day-to-day -day life, our routines, our health, our diet, how we're taking care of ourselves, our habits, you know, what needs to change in terms of our day-to-day -day life and the tasks that we're doing and, and, are we finding some kind of interest in it anymore, right? Is it still aligned with us? What's going on with our foundation with these things, right? And so Mercury is finally going direct. So we're going to get a lot of clarity in this area, but the new moon in the seventh house 
is like, okay, but this is also like a really transformational new beginning in terms of who you're connecting with, the relationships in your life, the deep connections that you have in your life. While on top of that, Venus and Saturn are coming into their conjunction in our seventh house. So this is a time where we are reviewing our relationships and the commitments that we want to make and that we don't want to make in terms of relationships. Do we need to move forward? Do we need to move backward? Do we need to detach and step away? Or do we need to, you know, keep going? Like, what do we need to do in terms of the agreements, the commitments, and the you know, like the, the relationships in our lives. Are we willing to take on a certain commitment or responsibility or are we separating from one, right? Um, are we like, you know, like, are we like willing to start some kind of new beginning in terms of how other people see us, how we connect with other people, the dynamics within our lives, friendships, etc. Or are we willing to take on commitments and responsibilities there? And if not, then boom, you know, like this Venus Saturn conjunction in our seventh house, which, you know, Venus is already the planet of relationships. So in our seventh house of relationships is a big deal. We're making big decisions. We're making big commitments or big agreements or disconnecting from big commitments or big agreements in our relationships and in our social lives. Okay, like we're making big steps forward. We're hiring our standards. We are, you know, like going after what we really want in terms of our social lives. And also, you know, the seventh house is very much also about just how other people see you in general. You know, so we may be raising our standards and how we want other people to see us or how we want to show up in terms of other people, right? And so this is getting real about what you want, though, in terms of your social life, in terms of relationships, in terms of showing up, you know, like all of that. It's getting very real about it. And it's like a new beginning here that kind of flicks a switch. And it's like, oh, this is what I need to start doing. This is you know, what's aligned, this is the decision I need to make, etc. So let me know down below, Leo, if you feel that happening, if you've already noticed some of these things, if you feel like this resonates, I would really, really love to hear your feedback as a fellow Leo rising down below. Let me know what's going on with you. I want to know the tea. And with that being said, if you'd like to book a personal session with me, you can do that down below. And also I have a Patreon where I do exclusive content every week and you get access to a community of people. So if you're interested in that, see the description below. I also teach astrology over there if you're interested. And with that being said, we're going to move on to the next sign. Alrighty, Virgo Risings. This new moon for you is very much bringing up the topic of your work life and your health, your diets, your routines, your habits, and things like this, your lifestyle, right? The task and maintenance that you do on a day-to-day -day basis to keep up with your lifestyle. And so this new moon is a massive new beginning here. And like I said in the beginning of this video, if you didn't watch, you need to go do that. But this is basically when 2023 starts. This is where we really start feeling this new uh, energy, these new beginnings, this new clarity, and this forward moving momentum, right? And so with this new moon in your sixth house, this is definitely a time where new beginnings are happening in terms of health, in terms of your lifestyle, in terms of your work, in terms of you know your job, in terms of different tasks and duties and responsibilities. So this could be a time where you are either denying or committing to a lot, either more responsibility, more commitment, you know, something in terms of work. So this could be bringing up like a contract or agreement or more responsibility, um, or you could be getting very serious and decisive about what you really want in terms of your job, in terms of your work life, and in terms of your lifestyle, because, you know, this is also kind of affecting your fifth house of what you're really passionate about, what you really want, your dating life, romance, love, children, you know, like what you really desire, what you really want. And so this could definitely be a time where this new beginning is bringing in some kind of really big transformational deep shift and change. And it's somehow kind of, you know, affecting your work and also your day-to-day -day health, your day-to-day -day routines and your lifestyle. And so this is where you're getting really clear, like I need to start that diet or I need to do that thing or I need to start exercising or if I want this bad enough, I need to start doing this, right? Or if I don't want this anymore, I need to disconnect from this. And also on top of it, like with that being said, you've already also been getting very, 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 
ton of lessons basically in terms of your career and the direction you're going in your life, the direction you're going with your goals, the direction that you want to go in your future and in the world and with your career. And so with that being said, like, you know, this could have been like, you know, am I really passionate about what I love? Am I really passionate about my career? Do I really love it? Do I really like it? And then on top of it, like, you know, what needs to change, you know, what needs to change in my day-to-day life, my day-to-day life, day-to-day structure, my day-to-day routines and my health for me to really get back in my vibe, you know, for me to really do what I like to do in some way, you know? And so this new moon's bringing in this new energy that could definitely change things where you're making hard choices or hard decisions or cutting out certain things or committing to certain things or taking on certain responsibility or commitment um, because of, what you really love or what you really like or what you really want to do you know your actual interest like what actually feels good to you and right to you so let me know down below virgo if this resonated with you i would love 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 to hear your feedback if it did and what you do see coming up for you around this new moon i would love 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 to hear it and with that being said if you would like to book a personal session with me you can do that down below i also have a patreon where i do exclusive content for astrology for learning astrology and we talk about other topics and things like that too it's like a whole community so if you would like to learn that um, or join that then see the description below and we're gonna move on to the next sign alrighty my lovely Libras this new moon for you is happening in your fifth house of romance and sex and love and play and children and your heart's desires baby what are you feeling in your heart like where do you need to get back to your heart where do you need to get back to the things that you love where do you need to get back to you know attraction and play and romance and doing the things that you love maybe spending time with your children being a child of yourself like getting into pleasure etc and so this new moon could be a massive change for you you know entering 2023 where you've been really kind of reflecting on and focusing on family for a little bit and your home life and your foundation and your roots and what's not all the way stable or structured there like how to restructure your foundation your family your personal life etc and with this new moon mercury is going direct and so you're finally going to start getting some clarity there it's finally going to start making sense like oh this is what needs to happen or this is what i need to do after learning these lessons over the past several weeks in terms of your personal life and your family your living situation your home life etc and so now we have this new moon bringing in like a big change in terms of what you love versus maybe what you've been kind of trying to do for your family or your personal life or your home life or trying to restructure there but also your dating life and also romance you know even if you're not like actively dating and trying to find someone like if you're already in a committed relationship this could be like bringing the love and romance and attraction back into that connection, you know, bringing the play and all of that back into your love life in some way, right? And I say this even more because Venus and Saturn are conjunct, are going to be coming into their conjunction around the time of this new moon. And so this is getting very serious and making some very serious commitments about your love life and what you want, what you desire, your attraction, you know, like your relationships and you're also you know potentially if you have children this could be something like where you're deciding something with this too like you're making a big commitment or you're cutting off a commitment or you're cutting off responsibility or you're taking on more responsibility or you're getting very real and serious in some way about what you actually want right what you actually want what will make you actually happy like what your heart actually wants right and so that is what I'm really seeing here for you. If you're a Libra rising, let me know down below if this resonated with you, Libra, what you do notice coming up around this new moon. And do remember a new moon is a building energy. So it doesn't just like all happen right on the new moon, but it, it's a building. It builds over the next few weeks. So be looking out for these things over the next few weeks. And I'd love to hear about it. If you would like to book a personal session with me, you can do that with the link in my description below. I also have a Patreon community where you can join. You can get more from me over there. I also teach astrology over there. I go live every week over there. So definitely see that down below if you're interested. And we're going to move on to the next sign. Alrighty, Scorpio rising. So this new moon is happening for you in your fourth house boo so 
this is a powerful new beginning happening in terms of your family life, your home life, your private life, like your private sector of your life, your foundation, your roots, your living situation, what's going on at home or behind closed doors or in your private life, what you keep private, you know, your past as well, your childhood, your parents, your family. And so this could be a time that really starts bringing up those themes for you over the next few weeks. And not on top of that, there could be some big changes happening here, not only in your family life, but in terms of your environment, your surroundings, the people that you surround yourself with, or the location in which you're at, or, you know, maybe certain small trips, you know, Mercury's going, been going retrograde in your third house. So you've been really looking at restructuring your day-to-day -day life, your environments, your local environment you know, what you do or who you communicate with or the places you go on a day-to-day -day basis. And so this is kind of making some big changes in terms of, you know, the places that you frequent, the environments that you frequent, but also your home life or living situation. For some of you, this could be a move to a different city or a different town or a different state or something. You know, for some of you, this could be, you know, making a big commitment in terms of what you want, in terms of your home life, your foundation, your family, your personal life, like wanting to get really serious about this. And, um, you know, for others of you, this could be also your relationship with another person as well, where you're getting, you know, kind of serious about maybe a commitment or taking on some kind of responsibility or releasing some kind of responsibility with a family member or a, you know, actual relationship within your life. Um, and so this could be a time where there are some lessons coming up and where you're getting serious about implementing something new in these areas of your life. You could really, really notice around this time. So let me know down below, Scorpio, if that resonates for you. I would really, really love to hear your feedback as always. If you didn't watch the first part of this video, definitely go watch it. <laughs> Don't forget to do that. And then also, if you'd like to book a personal session with me, you can do that down below. And if you'd like to join my Patreon, you can do that down below as well. And we are going to move on to the next sign. Alrighty, Sagittarius risings. <laughs> this new moon is happening for you in your third house of communication, the environment, people, places, and things that you interact with or frequent on a day-to-day -day basis. And also, it's also somewhat um, going into your finances, your money, your resources, your income. So these are kind of some of the different topics or themes that you could see coming up with this new moon. Now, this could be a powerful new beginning in how you are going about your finances or your resources. This could be you maybe learning about new ways of going about these things, or you've been really reflecting on your finances, your resources, your income, your priorities, right? And somehow this is playing into the environments that you're in or the different things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis or your skill set as well, or your location, you know? And so some of that could be coming in here and tying in here with this. But with Venus conjunct Saturn in your third house, this could also be making a decision, a commitment, or taking on re more responsibility in terms of your day-to-day -day life, your environments, the people that you surround yourself with, your skill set, the things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. But it could also be taking off some of like old responsibilities or old agreements or whatever, you know, like maybe you're no longer, maybe you're kind of putting your foot foot down. You're like, you know what? I'm no longer going to go in these environments anymore. They're just not healthy for me. Or I'm no longer going to give my time and energy to this thing every day because it's just not healthy for me. Like, you know, but you're getting a lot of clarity moving forward in terms of your money and finances. And this new moon in your third can also be a time where you gain a lot of insight and ideas that are really powerful and transformational. Um, in terms of where you want to go from here or sharing your ideas and communicating with others or your environment or, you know, your skill set in some way. So these are all the big things that are kind of coming up for you. And somehow they could also be tying in your job, your, you know, work life, your coworkers, your relationships as well. Like Mars has been retrograding in your seventh and it just finally went direct a week ago. And so if you've been having a lot of confusion, a lot of distraction, a lot of <laughs> basically chaos or just like feeling kind of lost in terms of relationships or other people lately, like that's going to finally start getting clarity and you're going to start finally moving forward very quickly, especially after this new moon. Um, and it also, especially in terms of finances, money and income as well. So let me know down below, Sag, if this resonated with you, if you've been seeing these themes come up in your life, I'd love, love, love to know and hear all about it down below. I always read your guys' comments. And then also, 
well. If you would like to book a personal session with me, you can do that down below as well. I also have a Patreon community where you can subscribe for super affordable monthly prices and you can cancel at any time and get exclusive content and more access to me. So I love you guys and we're gonna move on to the next sign. Woo, this has been a long one, baby. Capricorn Risings, last but not least. So this new moon for you guys is happening in your second house, but it's still kind of like affecting you because you're ruled by Saturn too and Saturn's in your second house and it's like technically conjunct Pluto and Pluto's in your sign. So basically this new moon for you is bringing up a lot of things in terms of your identity, yourself, you know, which you've been reflecting on a lot, like who you are, how you show up, like your appearance, like maturing and growing up in this area and restructuring these things in this area who you're being, you know, like who you want to be. But also um, this new moon is bringing in this like massive theme of money, income, finances, resources, you know, priorities, your values, and how that may be tied to your identity or to who you're showing up as, you know, like if you want more in your life, you have to show up as someone different. Like the being has to change, like not completely, like you're still gonna be you. Really, it's just stripping away the versions of you that are not aligned with what you want, right? And so with that being said, you know, we have this Venus-Saturn conjunction in your second house of money, income, finances, resources. So this could be a time where you are like making big decisions in terms of what you want in terms of what you want to do financially, what you want to do with income, what you want to do with your resources, what you want to do with your money and your priorities and getting very clear about that and like getting very clear and cut about that, you know, in a very deep and precise way, in a very serious way. This could be taking on a big agreement or commitment or letting go of a agreement or commitment financially. You know, this is possibly making a big decision financially for a lot of you and this is the time to do it because mercury is direct you know like things are starting to go direct and like after sunday after the sunday after this full moon all plants are going to be direct so things are going to start moving really fast baby so this is all about like you taking that forward momentum and really stepping into the you that you want to be but also making sure that your values align with that your resources align with that your income aligns with that and so this is kind of that 2023 energy finally coming in, like that new energy finally coming in where it's like, okay, who do I wanna be this year? What do I wanna step into this year? Like, what do I want to do in terms of myself, my money, my resources? Like what, how do I need to bring in more or how do I need to uh, progress on what I'm already doing in terms of my finances and my resources? And so these are big things that are really coming up for you right now. And on top of that, it's also kind of playing into your, your work, your job, your day-to-day -day tasks and duties. And, you know, <clears throat> if the way that you're doing things is really how you want to be doing things and how that may involve other people to some level or to some degree, and also just like what you desire, like what are your goals and how are you ready to start implementing those? Like, are you ready to start making sure that your decisions match, you know, what it is that you want in terms of your finances, your resources and getting very serious and clear about that. So that is what I'm seeing for you Capricorn for this new moon in Aquarius. Definitely let me know down below if this resonated with you. I would love to hear your feedback and what you guys are like really noticing for this Capricorn new moon. If you're noticing any of this yet, a new moon can be subtle at first, but it is a building energy. So over these next few weeks, you can definitely start noticing these things if you're not already. So with that being said, if you like more from me, I do personal readings. So you can book a personal session with me below. I also have a Patreon with a community that you can join with and get like exclusive content from me and all of that, learn astrology, etc. And that is all for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.